Right, so they were sprinklings of the Devil Wears Prada. They're sprinklings of Emily in Paris. Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. My name is Kyla Denagno and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. Today we're talking about the book, Fake. This book was written by Erica Katz. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is thriller suspense. So the biggest plot twist in this book, and I'm not going to give too many spoilers, but when you find out why Emma was so upset, when you find out why she's having nightmares, when you find out why she cannot trust people, forget about it. I was not expecting that. The book has this whole coming of age, oh, I'm learning how to be an adult, I'm in this big metropolitan city, and then it's like, girl, what are your demons? I was not expecting that, I was not. And that plot twist is really important because unprotected children become traumatized adults. I'm not even a therapist and you got that one for free. So to find out that Emma had been keeping this secret for so long, living with this story, it's like, why the girl gotta deal with all that stuff? She doesn't have anyone she can share it with. For her to be in a gallery and living this whole life and she's got this whole other thing behind her, like every day for her is hard work because she is actively trying not to be the thing that was trying to keep her down, okay? And so, you know I'm a sucker for a good cover. I mean, you got the red shoes, you got someone walking off, you got fake, you're like, what? Fake relationship, fake life, fake what? Girl, fake everything, fake everything. So last point, number seven, would I reread the book? Yes. So they were sprinklings of The Devil Wears Prada. They're sprinklings of Emily in Paris. Oh my God, and even Finding Anna, the show on Netflix. And you're just like, that's the only spoiler I'm gonna give you. Think about all three of those movies and try to combine them, right? And that's not even doing this justice, but Emma was off the hook. And this is definitely gonna be a character that I'm gonna miss. Again, my criteria for rereading a book is, do I still think about the characters when I finish the book? Do I wonder what they're up to? Do I wonder what would have happened to them? And I will definitely be wondering what's happening with Miss Emma as the days go on. <laughs> so, yep, absolutely, absolutely. So leave me a comment. Let me know how you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've read this book. Let me know how you feel about suspense or thriller novels. So until next time, this is Kyla Denanya and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. Bye.